Welcome. My name is Nick, aka I can PlayStation. Yeah, and I play video games a lot. Uh, recently, I wanted to play old Amiga games again, so I got myself this Competition Pro joystick, the remake that you, is currently available on Amazon. It's from Speedlink, as far as I know. It looks a little bit different than the original uh, Competition Pro, as you can see over here. It has uh, four fire buttons and the original one had two, which were basically just fire. It doesn't matter which button you pressed. Later on, a blue version came out that had auto fire attached to or configured to the little triangle button. So you could switch between regular fire and auto fire just by, you know, moving your thumb like that and switching from auto fire to regular fire. This is absolutely a necessity because, for instance, in our type, if you want to shoot regular enemies, you just use the auto fire all the time. But if you want to charge up your beam, you have to hold this button and release it to, to uh, release a beam, right? And that was not possible with the automatic configuration of this joystick. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure FSUAE to, um, to, to work properly with this joystick. Uh, like in the old days. I don't like YouTube videos that go on forever without giving away the solution. So the solution is right here. This is the solution. I had to put this special configuration into my configuration file to enable auto fire on that triangle button and regular fire on the regular button. And to do that, I just installed a Mint Ubuntu 2004. I just installed the minimal version and we're going to install FSUAE now. We're going to get a, le a legal ROM file of our type. Factor 5 uh, did release the ROM file for free for personal use. And then I'm going to show you how to configure the settings properly. All right, first of all, let's install. Uh, let's install install FSUAE, namely FSUAE Launcher, which is like a front end for FSUAE. All right, so here we go. We're going to look for FSUAE, Ultimate Amiga Emulator, and FS, I don't even know what that stands for. We're going to install the FSUAE Launcher. All right, cool. Just installed it. Whatever. So let's close that one and um, just launch it like that. Boom. Default settings, an empty FSUAE launcher configuration. Now what we need is the ROM file. So the ROM file is provided by Factor 5. Um, Factor 5 DE. Go to Downloads. There it is. Download R Type Zip. We're going to save it. All right, that's it. Close the browser. But you are about to close two tabs. Sure, whatever. All right, so now that we have downloaded the ROM file, it is over here R Type Zip. Okay, now we're all set. We can just say start. Yeah, game is loading now. And I'm sure you can this one. Room and I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm Let's get started. So each button that I press, I will die now because I'm not, I will not steer. I will just show you that each button that I press is a regular fire button. Come on, game. All right, so. Fire, 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 fire. There is no auto fire. If I hold a button, the beam loads. Oh, I just, I just got hit. The beam loads and I can release it. So once again, let me show you. Fire, 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 fire. I will hold it now and release. You see, that's the regular setting. Each button is just the regular fire button and you, are, you don't have auto fire. 
There is an auto fire option in the back of the joystick. Let me just switch that to auto fire and load state real quick. <laughs> now we have auto fire enabled, <laughs> but we have auto fire enabled on each and every button, which doesn't make sense at all because we want to hold the button as well to release a beam. But I'm going to show you. Right. Yeah, nice auto fire. Nice auto fire. Nice auto fire. Nice auto fire. But I cannot charge a beam. So this is useless. I'm going to switch back to regular fire now. All right, let's close this. All right, so over here we are back to FS UAE launcher. One thing that took me a while to figure out if you change configuration settings of a game, you have to close FS UAE launcher and start it again. Otherwise it will not work because I'm going to I'm going to save this now, this configuration. Jesus. R type save. Now we have a configuration. And we can actually alter this configuration to to do custom settings. This one actually this one is the setting that we're going to do. But how do you figure out which button on your joystick is the button that you want to reconfigure? You go to the little FSUAE logo over here, go to settings, and then there is controllers. Here's my Speedlink Competition Pro. I just double click it and now you have this map of your controller. It doesn't really matter which button you click now. You just click over here, any button. And now what I want to do, I want this button to be the regular fire button, but I want this button to be the special auto fire button. So I'm going to click this button. And now we can see this button over here is registered as button four. Nice. I'm just going to show you the other buttons. This is button three, button zero, and button one. So these four buttons, they, they register as individual buttons and each, each of these buttons can trigger an individual option if you want to. Somehow button two is missing, but so what, so what? We are looking for button four, as I, as I showed you before. So now we do not save this. We just go, go, we just close it. We just learned that button four is the button that we want to configure. We're going to open a text editor and open documents FSUAE uh, configurations R type. And that is the configuration for R type. It is basically empty. It just, it's just saying that please load the R type zip as a floppy drive. Um, and there can, can be numerous options in here. Everything that you basically configure through the front end will be saved in here. But what we want to do is just say joystick zero button four. Oh, sorry, like this equals action so you can map an input of input to an action um and now it's get it's getting tricky because it it is joy one auto fire button so it is joystick zero that you are configuring to an action to joystick one uh which is which is confusing and i can't really explain it i i had just to, to try an error and 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 see and i, I just did it a couple of times and then I figured out, oh, it's this one. Okay, cool. That is confusing, but now it works. I'm going to save this. And, and he, as I said again, you have to close FS UAE launcher. I think this is pretty confusing because as I change the configuration file and click on the configuration to load it, I expect that FS UAE to load the current configuration. It doesn't. For some reason, it doesn't. So we have to close FSUAE, launch it again, select R type, and now it is loading with the current new settings. All right, we are back. And now, let, let me show you 
auto fire on this button. Auto fire. It will work now. Check it out. Auto fire and regular fire with the beam. So now we can just play the game like this and just shoot everything. Easy peasy and then load the beam and boom, bam. R type like it's supposed to be played, I guess. At least I think it is supposed to be played like this. Some people may consider auto fire cheating. I don't care. I need my auto fire button. I need my beam. Same goes for Tarikin, by the way. I just beat Tarikin 1 yesterday after I figured out how to configure. Boom! How to configure this properly, and now I have a lot of fun playing Amiga video games like back in the late 80s, early 90s. Alright, cool. <laughs> so that's it. Boom! Thanks for watching. My name is Nick, aka I can PlayStation. If you want to see me, oh, that's wrong. If you want to see me play video games, just follow me on Twitch. Twitch TV, I can PlayStation. Yeah, and I hope you have fun playing Amiga games. I hope this video was something that you liked and uh, that helped you set up your Competition Pro to work like it should work from my point of view. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.